Hey, Scott Lair of the Cruise, Genius.com. This video brought to you by Gig Sky. If you're concerned about a high cell phone bill when you go on a cruise, or if you're going overseas, GigSky.com is the answer for you. What is it? It's a data plan. And all you gotta do is go to GigSky.com, you pick which plan you want, and boom. The technology uses the built-in eSIM in your phone to give you data. Don't have to worry about roaming or a high cell phone bill. Email me directly, slayer1961 at gmail.com for 10% off your GigSky data plan. Let's talk about cruise dining options. Early, late, or anytime dining. Now I will say as a caveat, with uh, Virgin Voyages, they don't have an early or a late. You pick your times, uh, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, so that's different. But like on Carnival, let's say for example, early, late, or any time, or my time dining, same thing. Why do I prefer any time dining? I'll tell you why. Because let's say you go to Nassau, or you go to Coco Cay, or you go to some port of call, and maybe you're running late getting back to the ship. You wanted to get back at two, but you got back at three. The wife's taking an hour to get ready for dinner. And uh, you don't want to rush her. You don't want to rush her. And so uh, anytime dining is kind of good for a lot of people because there's not pressure. There's not stress. You know, and so many people want to go on a cruise for to rest, to relax, and vacation. You know, I'm the kind of guy. I'm a type A kind of guy if you've watched any of my videos. I like a plan, I know what to do, I wanna be ready, and I like order, okay? I'm a Navy veteran, that's kind of the way I'm wired. But a lot of people go on vacation uh, to go on vacation, and that's fine, be that way. So anytime dining is probably your best bet. Now with anytime dining, it's kind of a crapshoot because there's a very good chance you're not gonna have the same waiter or waitress every time. On Monday night, you may have Sammy. On Tuesday night, you may have Billy. On Wednesday night, you may have Olivia. And so you're not gonna have that same waiter every night. Now, why is that a 10? A lot of people want the same waiter every night. Oh, Mr. Scott wants a rum and Coke. Oh, Miss Marty wants a, a Diet Coke. Oh, Timmy likes the chocolate milk. Oh, Brittany wants the white milk. If you have the same waiter every time, they're amazing. The Filipino, the Indonesian, all the different you know cultures that are on cruise ships, you just gotta hand it to them because you know, week after week after week, they remember your names. And especially if you're a frequent cruiser like I am, many times you'll go back and see the same person. There was this one guy, his name was Leo. There was a guy by the name of Sherwin. There's so many guys I remember on Carnival because I went so frequently that you would get to know these, the staff and it was just, and I'll get teared up talking about it because some of my very best friends uh, you know, worked on cruise ships, including the cruise directors. But let's go back to my time dining or any time dining. If you roll that dice on any time dining, you cannot say I want Sally every night because you may come in at six one night, you know, the tables over on this side are, are empty, so they'll get you over there, you'll get Sally. But if you go to seven o'clock the next night, you cannot expect to get Sally again. So those are the pros and cons. Those are the kind of the, the things you gotta be thinking about if you choose any time dining. But if you choose early dining or late dining, chances are, and not guaranteed, but chances are you'll get Sally every night, you'll get Ernesto every night, and then you have that kind of you know camaraderie or you have that kind of, um, I don't know the word I wanna use, you just have that kind of feeling that you know it's the same person every night and they get to know you they'll bring timmy a coloring book or bring Brittany some you know whatever that's any time or my time dining now early dining why do i like early dining the waiters are fresh the food is fresh what do i mean by that oh and yet the third thing is they're trying to get you out of there because they're counting the clock too right they know you come in at six o'clock they've got anytime dining they're dealing with, maybe it's on a different floor, uh, but they know that late dining is gonna be coming and they gotta get you out of the restaurant. I mean, are you gonna feel hurried or rushed? No, but if you go to late dining, chances are it's gonna be a little slower. I mean, they're tired. I mean, they've been working you know, so hard on the early dining that you know, when they get to you know, late dining, they're like, whew, I'm a little bit out of gas, maybe. And that's just me. I like early dining for many reasons. Number one, get dinner out of the way. Now, here's the deal. 
My wife and I eat dinner at home early every night, 5.30, 6, 6.15. Now, a lot of people, oh, I don't want to eat that early. Oh, great, don't. I'll go. You go at 8 o'clock if you want to. But if you go at 6 o'clock or 6.30, whenever they open up, here's some of the negatives. There may be a long line waiting to get in to the um, restaurant. Now, let me just say this real quick before I forget. If you're concerned... Here's the problem. When you have a large group of people, that can really be difficult because, you know, there are some tables that are for four, some, some for six, for, some for eight. It's rare you get a table for 10 or 12, but if you have a big group, it makes it difficult. Let me give you an example. Uh, my daughter, son-in-law, myself, my wife, Marty, uh, Reed and Cole, our two grandsons, went on the MSC Seashore a couple weeks ago. Well, Brittany had some other friends that were coming too. Uh, some a couple with their two kids from Texas and then uh, a young lady, her husband and daughter. So there were some nights it was just going to be myself, my wife, my daughter, my son-in-law and two grandkids. But there were some nights where my wife and I just ate with the two of us by ourselves to let them have alone time. And there were some nights when it was just all the adults with the, the exception of my wife and I for to go because the kids were in the kids club. So there's a lot of moving parts, right? And if you've ever been on a cruise, you feel it because you'll see the maitre d' up there and he's got his iPad and he's got his computer and he's trying to solve this puzzle, right? You know, four people here, six people here, eight people there. Well, that's hard enough just on one night, let, it, let alone a four night or a seven night or a 10 night cruise, right? So my daughter, it's kind of funny, I shouldn't say this. My daughter says, hey, dad, yeah, honey, what's up? Let's go talk to the maitre d'. Let's. So we go down there the first day we were on the ship, right? And the doors were closed. Well, I just pull that big door and there's the maitre d' and some of the staff, hello. And, oh, Mr. Scott, hi, you know, and good to see you. And it's my daughter, Brittany. And Brittany said, okay, on this night, X, on this night, Y, on this night, Z, and, and, and kind of, you know, and so I was looking over the guy's shoulder, an amazing maitre d', I forget his name, but, you know, he had this puzzle and he had all the, the tables and four and six and 10. And then he was plugging in like the cabin numbers. So when you're dealing with that, that's just another thing. And God bless the staff there for having to deal with Cause it's not, wasn't just my family. It's probably a bunch of families. And especially when you're on those bigger cruise ships, you know, Mardi Gras or Seashore or Icon, that's really, so be, and you may want to slip the guy a 52 and say, hey, th thanks for going this extra mile. Anyway, going back to early dining, I like early dining because the waiters are fresher, the waitresses are fresher, the food is fresher, and you're gonna get out of there. It's not gonna be this long, drawn out process. And so many people complain about that, right? I mean, the dinner took four hours. You know, okay. Um, now, let me just say this before I forget about anytime dining. Let's say my wife and I go in for anytime dining. Oh, uh, Mr. Scott, you know, all the tables for two are gone. We're going to put you at a table with six other people. Now, there's a lot of people that get upset. I don't want to be around other people. I just want my wife and I or my husband and I. We never have dinner at home together. You know, this is our time. Well, there's not a lot of tables for two. There are some. Uh, but then even the tables for two are like right next to each other. So you're going to hear their conversation. They're going to hear yours. You're not just going to be able to gaze in Caitlin's eyes and all oh, your eyes, your hair, your lips, your, your eyebrows. Oh, it's a uh, romance. It's not going to be like that unless you go to a specialty restaurant, right? The point I'm trying to say is this. Early dining, I like it. Get in, get out. Then you get to go to the shows or you go to the bars or go to the piano bar and you have the rest of your night. Uh, now, another thing especially on Holland America and all these other cruise lines that cater to an, an older crowd, a more seasoned crowd. I got to take my medicine at seven or eight and I got to take it with food. Okay, well then, you know, maybe anytime dining is the best choice for you if you're dealing with medication. Okay, so late dining, you know, if you, you want to eat at eight o'clock, you know, maybe you're grabbing something up on the Lido deck and you're grabbing a burger to tide you over. You know, at six o'clock, you want to have happy hour and, you know, do X, do Y, and then go to dinner at eight. That's cool. The one thing I don't like about late dining, again, you know, it, just imagine being a waiter in a restaurant at, at a Red Lobster or Golden Corral or somewhere, you know, from 6 p.m. till eight or nine or 10 o'clock at night. Man, even, even when you're young, man, I think it's, 
you're cooking with grease. So anyway, there are different dining times for you to choose from. Early, late, and then the other one like my time or any time. You have those options, right? Now for the specialty restaurants, let's say you're gonna go to Pinnacle Grill on Holland America, on Holland America Line, or you're gonna go to Chops or whatever. You know, you're probably gonna have an assigned time or you can request an assigned time. And it's more likely you're gonna have that table for two at Pinnacle Grill than you would like at the main dining restaurants, right? So if you have any questions, email me, slara1961 at gmail.com. Uh, Gig Sky data plan, if you want to check that out, get 10% off, email me, slara1961 at gmail.com. Check out all my videos about embarkation, disembarkation, MSC, Virgin Voyages, Carnival, all that stuff. Scott Lair, the cruise genius.com. Like and subscribe. Hope you have a great week. I'll be talking to you again soon. And celebrity reflection. See you soon.